Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Buckeye Sports Now. I'm Sam Block and here is this week's top sports news. Friday night, Ohio State men's volleyball team stood on the precipice of history. The Buckeyes had won 40 games in a row and were hosting 8-10 St. Francis with the chance to make it 41, the longest in Midwestern Intercollegiate Volleyball Association history. Ohio State stormed out in front, taking the first set 25-15. But trouble struck in the second frame as the Red Flash jumped out to a 19-13 lead. The Buckeyes' comeback fell short as the team dropped the set 25-23 and tied the match up at one. The Buckeyes rediscovered their championship form in the third set, winning 25-15. They served up six aces in the frame. The Buckeyes ended the match early as Ohio State once again in the fourth set won 25-15. This, their 41st win in a row, puts OSU behind only UCLA, a team that has twice won 47 men's volleyball games in a row. The Buckeyes are back in action on Friday at 5 against UC San Diego, looking for their 42nd win in a row. Friday night, the number 13 ranked Ohio State men's hockey team welcomed the struggling Michigan State team into Value City Arena. To say the Buckeyes came out flat would be a severe understatement as they allowed the Spartans to jump out to a 4-0 lead in the first period. Early in the second frame, senior Nick Schilke gave the Buckeyes a glimpse of hope as he netted a power play goal, but MSU quickly demolished that hope as they tallied another goal to make the score 5-1. Midway through the second frame, the trio of David Gus, Dakota Joshua, and Kevin Miller scored an absolute beauty of a goal to make the score 5-2 and get the Buckeye crowd back into the game. Shortly after, while Michigan State was on the power play, Mason Yapst was able to cause a turnover and skate free to score his 15th goal of the season and cut the Spartan lead to 5-3. The Buckeye faithful were sent into a roar when David Gus made it a one-goal game early in the third period, but Ohio State was unable to complete the ferocious comeback and eventually fell to the Spartans 5-4. Sophomore Mason Yapst and head coach Steve Rolick discussed their disappointment on the team's loss and their flat start on the night. To come out at home in a game that you got to have and uh, give up four like that, it's inexcusable. Uh, just, it's just not okay. Um, it's something that we've done multiple times this season that's just unacceptable. And, you know, it's such an important game, it's really disappointing. Saturday night was a much better outcome for the Buckeyes as they were able to defeat the Spartans by a score of 5-3. Ohio State was able to successfully represent their seven seniors on a winning hockey evening as they recognized Drew Brevig, Logan Davis, Christian Fry, Josh Healy, David Gus, Nick Schilke, and Matt Tompkins prior to the start of the game. It was certainly an exciting evening for the Bucks, and they now look ahead to their road tilt with Wisconsin on Friday night. On Saturday night, the men's gymnastics team faced Minnesota and the Ukraine national team, but on some new turf. The team took on their opponents during the Arnold Sports Festival at the Ohio Expo Center. The team took home five event titles and the overall win, securing a win over number five Minnesota by almost two full points. Redshirt junior Ryan Lemazis and sophomore Chris Coombs recorded season-best performances on the rings, which pushed the team to its highest win total of the season. Junior Seth Delbridge took home gold on vault, redshirt senior Jake Martin took home gold on high bar, and redshirt junior Jake Dastrup took home gold on parallel bars. Up next, the Buckeyes head to Norman on March 11th to take on the Sooners at 8 p.m. The women's basketball team headed to Indianapolis this weekend as the top-seeded team in the Big Ten basketball tournament. They started out hot, handling Northwestern in a 99-68 victory on Friday. But they stunned many when falling to Purdue in a 71-60 loss on Saturday. To hear what both teams had to say about the matchup, head to our YouTube page for interviews after the game. This upcoming week is an action-packed one for Ohio State Athletics. 
The Ohio State men's basketball team opens up Big Ten tournament play at 7 o'clock this Wednesday night against Rutgers in Washington, D.C. On Friday and Saturday, the Buckeye Rifle team will compete in the NCAA Rifle Championship in Columbus, Ohio, and the time is still to be announced. Finally, on Saturday at 1 p.m., the men's lacrosse team will look to remain undefeated as they host in-state opponent Cleveland State. That's all from the Sports Desk. Stay tuned throughout this week for exclusive Ohio State coverage. Make sure to subscribe and follow us at Lantern TV on Twitter. Thanks for watching.